Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today we are going to transform this 69 Dodge Charger 500 into a wicked tool that you can and should have on you at all times. Stay tuned as I show you how to make your very own Hot Wheel bottle opener. For this project you will need a 3 32nd drill bit, a 5 32nd drill bit, an X-Acto knife, general purpose epoxy, a power drill, a cheap bottle opener, eye protection, toothpicks or something else to mix the epoxy, a Dremel with a cutoff wheel attachment, a pair of pliers, and your choice of car. This car was sent in by my little sister Marissa. This one did not get a review, but now is its time to shine. We will start by drilling our 3 32nd pilot holes, then step it up to our 5 32nd drill bit to take out the tip of the rivet. Now that it's apart, we can form our plan of attack. I want it to fit as close to the hood as possible, like this. But I also want to keep the interior untouched because this car still needs to look like a Dodge Charger and leaving the interior out or altered is something I just don't want to do. We will mark it right here. I think that'll be short enough to accomplish the task. We also have to remove the grill so we can place the opener up front. We can do that by scoring the plastic over and over and then breaking it off with some pliers. And then you can clean it up with your X-Acto knife. Now you can get a picture of how this is going to come together once it's all done. I noticed that the window and the interior starts closer to the front than I thought, so we will have to cut our opener even shorter. So I made the adjustment and it's looking really good now. Our next step is to get a hole drilled so the front post can pass through the opener and into the base. We will mark the location with our sharpie and then get that drilled out with the 532nd bit. Alright, this is looking really good now and we are very close to being done. Our next step is to modify the front suspension so that it will fit the opener. Sure, it would be easy to cut it off and be done with it, but if we did that, the stance would be ruined and the front wheels will just scrape on the wheel wells, and that's just not good. So we will carefully shave the top of the suspension off with our Dremel, just enough to fit the opener above it. Now we will clean it up and install it. It's looking good already. Let's put the base on and nice! That turned out perfect! Now it's time to mix our epoxy and apply that generously to the inside of the hood, but not too close to the front because we don't want any epoxy to seep over the front. Then we can put the interior and base back on and button it up. Now I'd let this sit overnight or at least 12 hours. Okay, it's been 12 hours, so let's see how this looks. Looks good, no seeping, it rolls like it should, looks really good, and it feels really strong. I've got three bottles here so we can test the strength of our opener. Haritos Lime, Haritos Fruit Punch, and Sprite. Success! There you have it everyone, a fully functional bottle opener that looks rad and is pretty simple to make. Tell me what you think in the comments below and show me that you made it by tagging me on Instagram using hashtag DDonYT. For the previous upload, click the video on the left. And to see Nick's pick of the week, click the video on the right. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.